Hey everyone, so Amazon has finally released the details on their 2021 Amazon Fire HD 10 and now they're also going to be having the HD 10 Plus version. Just like in 2020, they had the HD 8 and then the HD 8 Plus. So this is awesome. This is definitely needed. The 2019 version only has 2 gigabytes of RAM and it is starting to, you can definitely notice uh, that it is falling behind times. Uh, so this 3 gigabytes of RAM with the normal HD 10, while you step up to the Plus, you get 4 gigabytes of RAM. It is very much needed on these devices. Uh, and this should be just huge. This should be really amazing. Uh, so let's talk about, let's just talk about these tablets now. Uh, at least what we know so far on this. So they are going to be released on Wednesday, May 26th of 2021. So we have a bit less than a month until these come out. Uh, I think today is the 26th or 27th. Uh, they will come in 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of storage. They are supporting just like on the HD 8 and HD 8 Plus is one up to one terabyte micro SD card slot. And then of course, like with I think every tablet they have ever had, you can do uh, ad supported or without ads. And I would definitely go with the ad supported. It's $15 difference. And to me, I've actually found some really cool apps going through these ads. Uh, they're not intrusive in any way, shape, or form either. Uh, the ads are pretty much just on your lock screen. So right now, this has four different colors for the HD, or for the yeah for the HD ten, but the Plus version only comes in one color. That is slate, just like they did with the twenty twenty HD eight plus. Uh, so HD ten plus only comes in slate as well. But if you go with the normal one, the non-plus version, you can get it in black, get it in denim, which is blue, get it in lavender, which is like a looks like it'd be a pinkish color, or an olive green here. And again, that is with either the 32 or 64 gig versions here. Now the non-plus versions are going to be $150 for the 32 gigabyte version. Otherwise, you step up to the HD8, HD10 Plus. Sorry, I keep wanting to call it the HD8. The HD10 Plus here. Again, it comes in only slate, which is still a decent color. It's basically a, like a charcoal, kind of a blackish gray color. More black than gray. Uh, you can get, again, 32 or 64 gigabytes of storage. Again, you can do up to one terabyte of uh, micro SD. But the big part here is that it gives you four gigabytes of RAM plus wireless charging instead of only three gigabytes of RAM and no wireless charging, just like how they did it with the HD8, which had either two gigabytes of RAM, no wireless charging for the eight, or three gigabytes of RAM, wireless charging for the eight plus here. So this is $30 more than the non plus version. I would say spend the extra money. That's what I'm doing personally. Uh, it will last just longer you'll be able to use this device for longer than you would in the non-plus version. I imagine this device will last you at least a few years now, especially with four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this might last you four, five, six years if it doesn't, you know, if you don't break it or something, which these are supposed to be pretty hard to break too. Uh, the more durable than iPads, like they've always have said. And of course, again, you can get it with or without ads. Again, it only comes in slate. And then again, 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is to me the big, big thing here. Uh, now all of them do have 10.1 inch full HD 1080p display, just like they were before. But now they're saying it's going to be a little bit brighter, uh, ten, 2 million pixels. And then if you want this to be kind of like a computer, you can get the productivity bundle here. Uh, so this gives you the HD 10 plus tablet, 32 gigabytes of storage. The slate, uh, well, the slate color, and then a Bluetooth keyboard and 12 months, one year, of course. Subscription to Microsoft 365. This is going to be $265, but it's saying right now you save 50 bucks. Uh, personally, I did not do this. I don't really need a keyboard. I have my own little keyboard I use right now, uh, but that is pretty cool. Uh, if you guys do want one, and it looks like from these pictures, so we can find. Show you guys a little pictures here real fast. 
to now I cannot find it anymore. But one of the pictures showed like it actually connecting in the tablet connecting into the keyboard, but it is Bluetooth. Uh, but it also looks like it is not going to be backlit display, which is if it was, I probably would have spent the extra money and got that got this bundle. Uh, but it's not back of the display that's just my own personal preference uh but yeah so if you do want to get it with a keyboard and then again you get one year of uh, microsoft 365 it'll be 265 dollars so that's pretty sweet and then the last choice you have here that you can also get is just on the normal the nine plus version you can get this extra little bundle thing so you get you well, again either 32 or 64 gigs whichever one you want then you also get a stand with it. Let's see, I don't know if that would actually show the picture here. So you get this stand with it as well. Uh, I or standing case, I should say. Uh, I've always really liked their cases. Uh, to me, they're actually better than anything that any, any of the other companies that make tablets are doing for their cases. I absolutely adore, love their cases. Uh, so you get this case, which apparently is just gonna be black, at least with the black one here. Uh, then you also get an anti-glare screen protector, two of them, and then a 15 watt charger as well. Uh, that's only 225 bucks. Uh, so it's probably not too, too bad. I don't know, it seems so-so to me. They say, I think usually their cases are, for 10, I think it was about 40 or $45 for the last gen one. Uh, so, I mean, it isn't too bad. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so then of course, depending on what color you get, will be the same color that your case will be. It looks to be. And then, as far as cases go, just doing a quick Amazon search here, there are no cases that I can really find except for in this bundle at the moment. I'm sure they will, of course, release some. Um, but I'm sure too. I'm, I bet you the last generations, the 2019 version, will not the case will not fit the new 2021 version uh, that's usually how they do it they usually change up some stuff on the tablet just to make it to where you cannot use the old case uh, which is rather annoying again that, I'm just thinking that but it, it, maybe I'm wrong maybe you will be able to use the old cases uh, which would actually be really cool uh, yeah so I am super excited about this I bet a lot of other people are too and of course one mine comes again it should be on the 26th hopefully maybe even sooner we can hope uh, I will of course be doing a unboxing, we'll do a review, we'll do maybe a setup of it, maybe unboxing and setup, and then I will be doing a whole bunch of comparisons, uh, the new generation versus the 2019 version, and then we'll do uh, maybe versus my Samsung Tab A7, as well as my S7 Plus, um, and, any, uh, and then also of course the 2020 HD8 Plus, we'll do comparisons between all those. Uh, so I am super excited for this to come. I cannot wait. About a month. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking of this. This looks really cool to me, though. Uh, yeah. So until next time, until next time, guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Appreciate you watching my videos as always. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.